Hello dear ones, it's Alice. It's early morning here where I am. And uh, this, this place where I am, uh, there was a group of young um, military people uh, that were taking a little break, I guess they call it R&R. &R. And they had the rooms all around me last night. And it was kind of cool in a way because even though I'm an old person, it, it was fun to see how exuberant they were and how how full of hope and joy and heroic um, courage and uh, clean, high-spirited good humor. Not, a, not an ounce of, um, of cruelty or, or meanness or small-spiritedness in them. They were really uh, wonderful people, both men and women, that were here last night having a wonderful time. And so that was a refreshing relief to me to, to see the young people and how, how beautiful and pure their spirit is these days and how beautiful and pure the, 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 the spirit of all humans is becoming these days. It was terrific. Sometimes we get caught up in notions about war and, and politics and so forth and, and we forget the, the important thing about being human is, is the feeling in our the feelings we have and the, the experiences we have through the feeling world, you know. Because the mind is a rather dry thing, don't you think? <laughs> and the, the feeling world is just full of the energy of life. And so these young people were like that. They were full of the energy of life. And I didn't even mind that I couldn't fall asleep because they were having such a wonderful time. It was terrific, just terrific. I hope there are many more such such uh, um, experiences for them in the future. <laughs> it's great. So just I wanted to talk this morning a little bit about, because what with all the young people here, there was quite a, a level of endocrine gland um, experience in the feeling world last night. And I wanted to talk a little about the future. And um, because it's a concern for people that are, that are actually seriously considering the ascension process and the future in the endocrine system and the thought processes about the idea of sexuality. Um, uh, these, are, these are like preliminary thoughts, you know. Uh, um, speaking from a personal point of view, from my own point of view, uh, as the level of light increases on Earth, it seems to me that the cells of my body are becoming more and more like intensely joyful, it intensely experiencing the joy of being alive. And so, little by little, this experience, and, and it's becoming more and more obvious to me what, uh, how the mental world has distorted this joy in, in, in the world until this light started to come in. So I, I hear on the Claire plane, I hear the stories of people regarding sexuality and romance. And uh, I hear a very different story from the men than from the women, you know. And so as people become more and more sentient, they're beginning to notice the differences and actually see the thinking of their sexual partner, of their wife, of their, of their very best friend, or whoever it is. They're beginning to understand that their mind is not creating the filter that's true of what is really taking place during the act of, act of making love. So um, this is leading to upset on, on the part of both men and women. We're, our partner is not who we thought it was, not Prince Charming, not the hero of, of our age. And for men, our partner is not the, the, the highly sexual um, female, what do you call it, um, you know, wonderful female companion that we, that, that, who thinks only about, you know, making love. She has many other concerns, right? And all across the, the world, apparently, people are beginning to notice this, that the person that they s spend their time with and, and have a, a romantic relationship with is, is not the person that they thought it was. This is true of both men and women, okay? So, so for me, 
watching this happen, it's kind of like walking through a, a nightmare reality because the thoughts that the people have and the feelings that they have are so separate one from the other. You know, I, it's like dipping into a nightmare when the level of my cellular joy goes down a little. And this can happen a kajillion times an hour, you know, but typically what happens is the cellular joy sinks down during the day because of something that I'm doing or thinking or feeling, and then I notice. And then I take a step to lift up the cellular joy, and then I find myself in a totally different reality. One where anything is possible, one where co-creation happens, one where there is no compulsion, one where um, the possibilities are infinite for this reality. And, and over and over again during the day it happens, you know. <laughs> it's kind of incredible, really. <laughs> so, so this morning the topic came up. I was, I was speaking with some friends on the Claire Plain. And the topic came up, what is it like, you know, to, to, to place your awareness somewhere other than the sexual drive, and such as on cellular joy, and to hear everyone in the world uh, engrossed in that, in that feeling, in that thought. And so there was some pensiveness on the other end, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, so my only response to this is this. If you feel that you're losing something, you know, then, then stay where you are. But if you'd like to experiment, know that it's not a permanent change. It's simply an experiment. So you can move in and out of the state of bliss anytime you want, okay, and retain the old. For well, myself, what I find is that uh, as, as this experience continues onward, the state of, of, of essential beingness has become far more um, precious to me than the state of wishing things were otherwise. You know what I mean? I don't want to live in that world of, of desiring something that's not here anymore because that pulls me out of my essential center and out of my joy. Um, so, so just, you know, if you really want to keep what you have, know that you can hang in there. If you want to exper experiment with a new, new feeling, a new feeling of being rather than wanting and doing, why you can do that too. And so there are infinite possibilities and, 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 and the choice is yours, completely yours. So, love you all. Take care.